video is about improving the minimax algorithm so we don't have to examine the whole um, uh, game tree okay so uh, please refer to the minimax video to understand why this is an improvement so we had our game tree right here for example right and now what we want to do is the minimax find the minimax right and in the end what we want is for max to have the best value to play and then for min to have the best value and all that this can be done without exploring all the all the utility nodes at the bottom at the leaf nodes so and here's why for example if i want to do a minimax at the root level a okay this will be the maximum of these things and each of these things will be the minimum of the things below it so let's do this exercise we want the maximum of the minimum of the root trees right so we want the maximum of of this minimum here right which is the minimum between 3 12 and 8 the minimum between 2 and I'm gonna call this X and Y just and then the minimum between these three notes here 14 5 and 2 okay if we call this guy well the minimum here between 3 12 and 8 is 3 the minimum we're going to call this the minimum between 2x and y it's going to be here and then this is the minimum between 14 5 and 2 is the number 2 okay look what happens here let's call this z z okay this becomes the maximum between 3 z and 2 right remember I'm trying to get the maximum of the minimum values now the maximum between 3 z and 2 look at z z is the minimum between 2 and some other two numbers so this value is going to be z is going to be either 2 or less than 2 right so z is going to be less or equal than 2 all right so what is the maximum between 3 a number that is less or equal than 2 and 2 the maximum is still 3 right so do we need Z? No, we don't. How can we capture this intuition in an algorithm? So that in this case it was clear that I don't need to, I, after I know that this is 2, I don't really need to explore these other two nodes, right? So do I need that? Well, there's one such algorithm called alpha beta pruning, okay? Which is what I'm going to describe next. Alpha beta pruning is based on two values. We're going to track in alpha the value of the best choice so far for the player max, meaning I want to get the highest possible value here. And beta is going to be the value of best choice so far for, for min, okay, for the min player, which is going to be the lowest value. I can also have alpha and beta be global values. Each node will keep track of its alpha and beta values. So I'm going to um, I'm going to illustrate the algorithm okay I'm going to use an alpha and beta that are local that are global but you should know that there's little alpha and betas that are local and I'm going to give the algorithm at the end in which alpha and beta the local alpha and beta will be will be clear but I'm going to be tracking the global alpha and beta so for example so here's the thing we start at alpha at negative infinity and beta at positive infinity. And the idea is when it's min's, min, min's turn, min will want to have something that is less than the current beta, because you want to minimize beta, but is greater than the current alpha. Okay? So it's going to be greater than alpha, but less than beta. So that way I get the smallest possible beta that is also better than whatever alpha there is. And alpha is maxes best value so I want alpha to be greater than any previous alpha right I'm gonna keep track of alphas trying to increase this value but also that is less or equal than beta because I want it to be um, I want this alpha actually to to be something that min will opt for right and min will only gonna go for little value so alpha again I'm gonna try to maximize alpha but keep it the same or low, lower than beta and min is going to try to keep beta at the minimum but also this value try to be a little uh, uh, over equal than alpha 
Okay, and then because we pit these things against each other, we're going to end up we're going to end up not examining nodes that do not comply with one of the conditions for uh, each one of the players. So, for example, we got here. We apply uh, the, the algorithm. We examine B, but then because it's depth first search, we're going to go to this node three. Now we'll ask, is three less than alpha? Well, no, it's not, right? So, alpha. Uh, 3 is actually greater than alpha, right? Which is kind of what we want. So we'll update beta with the value 3 because 3 is less than beta, right? 3 is less than beta. So we will update beta to 3. We got a value that was greater than alpha and less than the previous beta, which was plus infinity. So now we update beta. And we continue. Well, is 12 less than alpha? No, so we got a value that is greater than alpha. But is 12 less than beta? No, it's not, so we do not update beta. Let's continue now. 8, this node was 8, right? So these are the utilities of the nodes, by the way. This node is 8. Is this less than alpha? No, yes, it's greater than alpha. That's what we want. Is it less than beta? No, it's not less than beta, so we don't update beta. Okay, and remember, min will always update beta. So we've got the minimum of these, which is 3. We pass it upwards, right? And then Max gets to ask, is 3 greater than alpha? Yes, it is. Well, then it's a pretty good candidate for alpha, right? It's greater than alpha. So we update alpha there. Now, and it's less or equal than beta. So let's go to node C now. We're going to explore this, this uh, subtree. We go in depth first, we find 2. Is 2 less than alpha? I mean, less than alpha. Yes, it's less than alpha. So remember, min wants to keep this guy small, but with bigger values than alpha. Why is that? Well, because then it, it ensures that max is going to pick that value, because max will pick values from alpha. So I want a value that is less than beta, but also, uh, but, but it's greater than alpha. Okay, so is 2 less than alpha? No, it's not. So we just return 2 upwards. And then Max is going to ask, is 2 greater than alpha? No, it's not. So no update happens. But re look at this. We return the number 2 because we know number 2 might, might be less than beta, for sure, yes. But it's not going to be greater than alpha, right? So there's no point in, in exploring more nodes. Just like the intuition in the first slide. Let's go with uh, node D now. Is 14 less than alpha? Is 14 less than alpha? No, it's not less than alpha, right? It's greater than alpha. Great, this is the kind of value we want. But then, is 14 less than beta? No, it's not less than beta, so we don't update anything. But so far, it was a pretty good candidate because it was bigger than alpha, but not bigger than beta. Is 5 less than alpha? No, which means 5 is greater than alpha, which means if it were the minimum value, it would be good. But the, the problem is that it's not less than beta, so we don't update beta. Remember, beta needs to be the minimum possible that's greater than alpha. And alpha wants to be the maximum possible that's less or equal than beta. And then we say, well, it's 2 less, th uh, less than alpha. No, it's not. So we return, right? We return 2. So then uh, Max looks at this and says, well, 2 is also not greater than alpha, right? So nothing happens there. 3 is so far the alpha value here. And at the end of the algorithm, when all no nodes have been explored or returned from, then the minimax for, all, for A is 3, and we know that, you know, uh, we know th this minimax, and we did not explore this subtree, okay? Um, a, few, a few things to note. Well, if this subtree would have been sorted, would have been sorted from, you know, 2, 5, and 14, we would have gone to 2, we would have returned because it was not greater than alpha, right? We would have returned immediately, and we would have also saved this subtree, right, from happening. Now, when the trees are huge, these are big, big savings, okay? These are big, big savings. In particular, pruning, we know, does not affect the final outcome. Sorting the moves my uh, by, by results might improve the alpha beta performance and now with the perfect ordering 
we get an order of, uh, an order of running time of b of the branching factor of the tree in, the, in our case three because each three each tree had three branches to the m half m is the number of levels in the tree right this is a lot better than depth first search which does b to the m okay we call this meta reasoning what this algorithm is doing is reasoning about what it's about to do okay reasoning about how to reason and just uh, to conclude here's a pseudocode algorithm of what uh, this algorithm does it has three functions alpha beta with a given state the max value with a state and current alpha and beta and the mean value with a state and alpha and beta this will keep track of alpha and beta locally and also globally